You know, and if they want to get a job, I'm cool with that. But I wanted to know, man, all that hustle you did on the streets, man, you can just flip that straight into a business, bro. Absolutely. Beekeeper Thad Smith is at Cook County Jail, introducing himself to a few inmates. Gentlemen, I'm here to really teach you about bees, teach you about agriculture, but I'm also here to teach you about entrepreneurship. Because, I, again, I don't care about your background, I don't care what you did, that ain't my business, I don't care. Smith is at the jail to bring beekeeping to the Cook County Sheriff's Urban Farming Initiative, started in 1993. Right here, come here, I'll show you. The program is a rehabilitative program for detainees who are um, nonviolent, and so they come out here and they learn um, on-site, hands-on horticulture as well as job skills and job training. Um, the hope is that when they get out, we are able to place them in employment. Over here, that's a good opportunity to know how the, the right way to plant, you know, tomatoes, hot peppers, and all that. So it's going to be a good chance to learn everything about gardening. This right here is our biggest obstacle, fellas. Smith can empathize with the group. He served time here. About eight years ago, I was homeless. And I don't know if anybody's been homeless. And again, I don't care, but when you, it's the street, the same thing, it's the street, bro. So when you're out in the streets, you gotta do street games. You gotta play that game. So I got caught up in the street game. Four years ago, I met Smith at the North Lawndale Employment Network. The nonprofit helped him discover a passion for beekeeping. When we put this in, this was blank, and I'll see if I can get a blank frame for you. But if you notice, look at all that nice white comb, and then it's glistening inside, that's all nectar. They are doing a really excellent job here. Wow. Okay, here's a queen right here. You can tell it's the queen. She's nice and black. She's long. What she's doing right now is looking for uh, cells to lay eggs in. The ones that are open, she will lay an egg in. At the time, Smith had just started Westside Bee Boys, a company he still runs that manages beehives and sells beekeeping products. I'm not even gonna crack them open. Yeah, you can open them and just look at them. Yeah, okay, cool, yeah. Oh, these are nice looking bees, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now Smith's returning to jail, but as a beekeeper, he's installing two starter hives. Each box contains a queen and about 10,000 bees. All right, uh, we're gonna walk where we're gonna put them. We're gonna open it up really nice, small, slow. All right, gentlemen, come on over. We're not gonna dig into it today. We're gonna be a little bit calm because it's a little cool. Much like some humans, Smith says bees aren't fond of windy, rainy, or cold weather. We want to be a little slow, we want to take it nice and easy, so that nobody gets a little upset. Mm. That's honey right there. That's done. They seal it, right? Yeah, they seal it. It's like Tupperware, as I like to call it. All right, so I'm going to put this back in so that we can let them stay warm because it is a cold day. After a bit of action, it's time to leave them be. Okay, yeah, so what I would need everybody to do is step back. I, no, seriously, I need everybody to step back. Smith says these Italian honeybees tend to be a more docile and productive type of bee, perfect for beginners. A flower's scent and bright colors are what attract bees, facilitating pollination. You guys don't smell like flowers, I guarantee it. <laughs> and you don't have on the colors of flowers, so they're pretty much not gonna bother you. The program at Cook County Jail produces more than harvests of vegetables, flowers, and eventually honey. It also provides serenity in a stressful environment. You know, being here, I've, I've had a bad temper my whole life. Okay. You know? But since doing this gardening, I've been more laid back, more relaxed, uh, and I'm real, you know, real itchy to learn more about this because it's, showing me things about myself that I never even knew. Smith knows that feeling. He said how it calmed his mind, it calmed his nerves. I, man, I, I, I you know, I almost went into tears because I, I know what that is. I know how that feels. I know that shift. And when you have that shift, it's an incredibly powerful thing. And it puts you on a different path that you didn't know you could go before. And I believe his journey, man, he's going to have a really, really great journey if he stays on that path. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Evan Garcia.